Hey guys, I'm Curtis, the developer of OVR Toolkit. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the VRChat chat box integration with OVR Toolkit. So if you're wanting to use it just for text, first things first, on your radial menu in VRChat, go to Options, OSC. Make sure that we are enabled down here. If you're not enabled, enable OSC, then rejoin the world. Uh, sometimes it doesn't always enable uh, immediately, so the world rejoin fixes that. From that point, if we just open the keyboard and click this VRC button, this bar will appear. In this bar, what is typed here will appear in your chat box. So we can type test, press enter. We can see, and it also shows that we are typing. Oh, it did. <laughs> if we'd like to use voice integration with this, you will need to make sure that your default browser is Chromium based, so that means it's either Chrome or Edge, uh, Opera, Opera, whatever you call it. Uh, maybe Brave, or ironically Safari actually works. Everything basically but Firefox will work. Uh, it's just due to the API that we're using, uh, basically just leeching off the built-in free speech recognition in Chrome. Um, so that you don't have to fish out money on, say, Azure or um, Google Cloud. But you can use Google Cloud if you would prefer. That's an option in OVR Toolkit. So, with your default browser set correctly, click this icon. Now you'll see it saying loading. Now we wait. Now, it will say this regardless of if you've already allowed it before. But So, in your browser, you will have a window that looks like this now. Yours may be lighter. I think mine's getting dark themed. But, um you might see something like this appear, saying, uh, do you want to allow your this to use your microphone? And yeah, you can select your index mic from in here. Click done. No, you're done. You don't need to touch anything else. If you've already done that once, you shouldn't need to do it again. So, test, test. So, that works. If you would like to use it continuously, go into edit mode, global settings, customize, oh sorry, uh, keyboard, then VR chat, and continuous voice recognition. Now when the settings enabled, we can start sp uh, speech recognition here and just close the overlays and it will still continue. The accuracy varies depending on accents. It's not great for British accents, honestly. But say you're speaking to someone who is hard of hearing or deaf, and you don't know how to sign, this might be very useful uh, for you. Uh, just be aware, if you're stringing together a long conversation, you'll hit the 256 character limit for the chat box. But I think that covers everything for that integration. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or join us on Discord and you can leave your feedback there. Thanks so much for watching.